Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new Pokemon Planet video. In the last video, we defeated the Johto Elite Four, and we have now every single badge in the Johto region and the Kanto region. That just means that we have to go to the next region. Um, that's one of the things about Pokemon Planet is that there's so many regions to explore and different badges and Pokemon to catch throughout the game. So we need to go to the Hoenn region, and we can do that from here, actually. This is actually where you gotta start from. Um, just after defeating the Johto region, this is how you get to the um, Hoenn region. Now, um, we need a map. Where's the map at? Press M to open the map, and you can see that we are in the Kanto region. We need to go back to Route 22, or like Little Victory Road area. You guys will see, just follow me here. Um, we're going to make sure that we have on some repels because we do have to go through some areas where wild Pokemon can spawn. Alright, so let's just head south from here and we will make our way to the Hoenn region. Yes, we are going our first steps into the Hoenn region. We might even get our first gym badge today. We just got to keep heading south of here. Look at these people here going to the Elite Four for the first time. All these guys here, they're noobs. They're just trying to get started in the game. And once I was there too. I was there too. All right, but if we just keep heading south here, we're going to head up and we're going to meet with the area where you, the Kanto and the Johto actually came together. And this is also the same space where you can go into the Hoenn region. Now, if you head over to this left way, okay, south is Johto, north is Johto and Kanto Elite Four, and west is the Hoenn region. If we go through here, you'll see that this is Route 28. If you keep heading this way west, it'll take you to Mount Silver, which we'll probably discuss in a different video. But if we head north, this can take us to the Hoenn region. Can we read a sign here? Okay, yeah, the sign doesn't even work. Of course it doesn't work. Nothing in this game works, but you'll notice that we are now in Little Root Town. And this is Brendan. Oh, hello, you're from Kanto. You beat the Johto too? Wow, it's my dream to travel to those regions someday. Okay, Brandon, no one no one cares. May. Brendan and May. Hello there. Are you collecting information about Pokemon too? Wow, your Pokedex has tons of Pokemon I've never seen before. Whatever, May. Alright, so I guess um, we're in the Hoenn region now. We open our map. You can see that we are currently right here in Little Root Town. The first gym is actually going through Odell, and then you have the Petalburg. Then go through the Petalburg Woods and find yourself in Rustboro City, and that is where the first gym in the Hoenn region is going to be at. Now, there's actually a gym that you pass along the way, but that gym is actually the fifth gym, and you don't actually defeat them until like way later in the game. So you just got to make sure. Um, I want to see what Pokemon spawn here. It's been a long time since I've played in these areas. So it's full. To, it's cool to see what Pokemon spawn in this area. In Route 101, you can find Mary Tangla, Pharaoh Seed, Scyther, Heracross, and Pinsir. That's pretty cool. And um, Gyarados got to level 61 from that last video. Uh, so we, we did get a little bit of levels. He's already halfway to level 62. And I think that he's able to defeat at least the first two gems. It's going to be pretty easy. Um, we'll try to defeat the first two gems if we can. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make sure I go to these Pokemon centers in case we do encounter a, like a, an actual trainer and he wipes us out. Uh, we might want to go ahead and make sure that we don't get sent all the way back to the Kanto region because that would suck. All right, now we're just gonna head through Route 102 here and we're probably gonna have to fight this dude named Jimmy. Did I fight him? Oh yeah. All right, let's see what Pokemon Jimmy has. This is our first battle in the region and he has a Ralts and a Magic <laughs> Why does he have a Ralts and a Magic Um. All right. Is it gonna be level 100 Magikarp? Let's see what he has. Level 71 Magikarp. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I don't. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know what to do. All right. Let's just uh, forget about that. For some reason, he had a level 70 Magikarp, and that it was just a waste of a train. I'm gonna go around the back of Ted here, so I don't have to fight him. That dude has like a Haunter for some reason. I guess he's afraid to evolve it. Um, because trading evolution just sucks. And after we get throughout 102, we make ourselves our way into Petalburg City. Like I said, always go into the Pokemon Centers just to check them out. There's a, there's a few NPCs in these towns, but really literally nothing important. No one has anything important to say. Man, these windmills are huge. Like, Brody, why, why do you even add this stuff into the game? Like, NPCs are so pointless at this point. It's just so stupid. Austin, I wish I had a fishing rod so I could fish here. All right, we got the guard here. And he says, you need the heat badge before entering this gym. So the heat badge is the yeah the, the gym, the fire type gym in this region. And with Gyarados, that gym is dumb easy. Um, I think with a level 70 Gyarados, you can get extremely far in this game. A level 80 Gyarados, you can probably beat the Elite Four. All right. Um, yeah, people are hunting here. I wonder if this is like a specific spot for anything. Um, yeah, Swab Blue spawn, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we just continue heading on this route. I need to put on some repels. I'm so stupid. Literally, every single video, I'm like, man, I need some repels on, but here we go. 
use the max repel. And then next to this dude named Max, he probably wants to battle. Um, but we're not want to battle anybody. Now, if we head through here, this is going to take us into the Petalberg Forest, um, where we just got to get through really quick. Now, I'm just really quickly just going through everything, just because I want to get through this as fast as possible. All right, keep going, keep going, boys. All right, there's a dude there. Okay, and we should be getting close to the end of the forest. Yeah, it's just right there. Okay. Now we're on Route 104. We just gotta dodge these trainers a little bit here and then head up this way. There's a dude there, that's Ivan. And then we can go on over here and we're gonna make sure that we definitely go to the Pokemon Center in this town because we will be taking on the Elite Four, um, wherever, not the Elite Four, but the, the gym leader. Now I'm wondering what the gym leader's gonna be doing in this town. There's a mining vendor in this town too, which is pretty cool. Right there, the mining vendor. All right, but the gym is actually right here. So um, let's take one stab at the gym and see what we can do. Uh, maybe we're ready for it already. I have no idea. If we can beat this gym super easy, oh, there's actually some trainers here. If we can beat this gym super easy, then that's going to be lit. All right, Mike, um, he's got Giglith. I bet these all have Sturdy, don't they? They literally all have Sturdy. All right, well, we didn't kill it. Oh, he flinched, though. He flinched. I wonder if um, they all have Sturdy. If they do, then we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I know this Pokemon has Sturdy for sure. I don't know if Bastiodon and um, Crustle can have Sturdy. We're going to find out, though. Okay. Um, waterfall. Sturdy. Yep. All right. Can he kill us? He did kill us. All right. Um, I'm just nervous that the gym leader is going to have some Sturdy stuff. If it does, then that's going to suck. But it, it can probably be okay. It can probably be okay. Bastiodon use Endure. Will you surf? Okay. All right. How did that Endure work, dude? It should have killed it. It should have killed it. All right. There's no way he can survive now. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Bastion's dead. Now we got Crustle up in here. Um, yeah, we should have knocked this out, but we got to go to the Pokemon Center for sure after this battle here. And he's going to kill us. Yeah, he killed us. All right. Um, who's next? Let's just use um, Gardevoir to knock it out. Or maybe not even Gardevoir. It's probably not the best idea. All right, let's just go into Beauty Fly to get some damage on it and then maybe Gardevoir can knock it out with a Moonblast. I have no idea. Giga Drain if we can. That's pretty good damage. Okay. And then Gardevoir should be able to knock this Pokemon out. And then <laughs> we can do whatever. Alright Gardevoir. Get on in there and do some damage. Alright Moonblast. Alright. That person was tough because they had all sturdy Pokemon. As long as the gym leader. Um, I think we have rocks so Stealth Rocks should get rid of the sturdy. And that's going to help us out a lot. That's going to help us out a whole lot. All right. We'll heal up really quick. And we'll see what we can do next. All right. We are back in the gym. You can actually skip the second trainer, which is what I want to do. Um, so let's uh, go into Gollum here and just try to battle. Let's see what we can do. All right. Um, we got Rampardos up first. Now we got to get lucky. That's the thing. Um, okay. He actually didn't even... Oh, my God. We flinched. We flinched. Okay. Um, man, we can't do anything now. That ruins our whole plans. All right. Um, Gollum died, so we can try to do whatever. Um, but it's what... Wait, why did Magnemite faint for? He has Sturdy. What? We just died for no reason. What in the world? So we, can, we can't even use Sturdy here. Okay. Um, all right, we're just going to have to use Flash if we can get it. If we can get one Dragon Dance off, then we're good, I think. All right, Starmie got off two flashes, so it's minus two accuracy. If we can just get one Dragon Dance, I think we can beat this. Can we do it? Can we do it? Dragon Dance, go. Do not kill us. Do not kill us. Oh, he missed. He actually did miss. All right, we can't win this. We definitely can't win this. Um, just because of the sturdy on these Pokemon, I think. Um, at least Agron has sturdy, and at least... Um, Maybe Raw Raw Perrier has sturdy. I don't even know if it can have sturdy. Um, let's go for the waterfall here. That should knock out Armaldo. And then up next is your boy. If we get lucky, we can. There's a chance we can flinch these dudes and knock them out through their sturdy. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, he actually didn't have sturdy on Raw Perrier. Now Aerodactyl might actually be faster than us with just one plus one speed. So we'll we'll see actually. Um, Aerodactyl is a really fast Pokemon. Let's see if we're faster. We were faster. All right. So. If there's no Sturdy on this Aggron, we've won this battle. But there's probably going to be Sturdy on this Aggron. That's that's the deal. Oh, there actually was no Sturdy. What? I thought we just got our first gym badge in the region. Ain't no way we just got our first gym badge, dude. 
All right, Mega Tyranitar. All right, we got this. And Waterfall. And there we go, dude. We did it. Our first try. We just got the gym badge. The first gym badge in the Hoenn region. Dude, nice. Nice. Look at this. Let's look at this thing now. All right. Dude, we got our first gym badge. Dude, we got 17 different gym badges. That's lit, dude. That is lit. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, we just started our Hoenn adventure, and it's off to a really good start. Um, I'm going to have to train Gyarados a lot to beat this region, at least level 80 probably, to defeat the whole thing and then even get more Pokemon because Gyarados can't do it by himself. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want to, and if you haven't already. And as always, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.